What if three children ran into a wood to play and only one ever came out and he had no memory of what had happened to the other two? And what if 20 years later he was a murder detective and another murdered child drew him back to that woods? I grew up as an international brat. My dad was with the World Bank, the World Food Program, the FAO. So we traveled around. I'd lived in three continents by the time I was seven, things like that. I'm a mixed, I'm mongrel anyway, Russian, Irish, Italian, American mixed in there together. So I think that actually does have an influence on the way I ended up writing. Because when you grow up like that as an international brat, you can almost belong just about anywhere, but you never quite 100% belong anywhere. I think there's actually an advantage to that in some ways as a writer because I know Dublin really, really well, but the fact that I'm not 100% pure Dubliner, I wasn't born and brought up here, means that I notice things that native Dubliners take for granted. I, you can pick up on things. When I got the idea for In the Woods, I was a jobbing actor working on an archaeological site near Dublin in between two gigs. There was a woods near the dig. And one day my mind was wandering and I just thought, what would happen if three children ran into that wood and only one ever came out? What would that do to his mind? And I scribbled down the idea on a piece of paper and went off to do the next show and forgot all about it. But then a year later I was moving flat and there's this piece of paper under all the phone bills and I thought, I really want to do something with that idea. I think being an actor is actually pretty good training for being a writer if you write in the first person, which I do, because in both cases what you're doing is you're trying to create a full three-dimensional character who will engage an audience's interest and then bring the audience on a journey with that character into that character's world. Rob Ryan is a character who's very intelligent, very witty, very arrogant, very insecure and so badly damaged by these events in his childhood that he's not capable of being honest either with himself or with the other characters or with his readers. This thing that happened to him in his childhood cracked him straight across and meant that his mind, his memory, has become an unreliable place where he doesn't feel safe. It's a treacherous place. And that affects everything he does. The likeness is six months after the events of In the Woods and Cassie Maddox is called to a murder scene where what she finds is that the murder victim is her double and she finds that she has to go inside the victim's life undercover into the victim's world in order to find out what happened to her. I'm working on the third book at the moment and it involves Cassie's boss Frank Mackey who shows up in the second book. He's her old undercover boss and he's getting a book of his own the third time round. He's a lot of fun to write because Frank has a lot of secrets in his past, not a lot of moral sense, and is willing to do just about whatever it takes to get his man. And when his past comes back to grab him, yeah, he's willing to do whatever it takes.